previous chapter, we discussed how important 21st century skills are for success in personal and work life in the current time. These skills include careful thinking, problem solving, talking with others, working as a team, being imaginative and staying on task. This video will demonstrate how these skills are connected to sports and physical activities and why they matter in the 21st century. Let's know about the teamwork and collaboration skills from the Practitioners of Sports for Development, S4D. We will also know from her how sports and physical activities can help in developing 21st century skills. Hello everyone, I'm Kalyani Subramanian from the Maitrayana Charity Foundation, a grassroots non-profit that works on gender equality. In the last 16 years in the field of sport for development, I have witnessed the power of sport in building leadership and empowering thousands of adolescent girls across India. At Maitrayana, we use the sport of netball and life skills to empower adolescent girls. Among all the skills that are relevant for young people, I find teamwork and collaboration to be extremely critical. No sport can be played alone. To win a game, to score a goal, to net a basket, it is imperative that all the players perform together as a team. Teamwork and collaboration in sport fosters trust. It creates a competitive advantage for winning and brings players together for a common goal. One of the biggest factors for the success of any company is whether or not its employees function together as a team. With increasing competition, collaboration is imperative. With teamwork and collaboration, employees work quicker and are more effective. Teamwork is not a given. In the communities that we run our programs, Participants are divided, divided because of class, caste, religion, gender. Sport serves to build cohesion and proves to be that leveler. If you have to get the ball to the basket, then you have to pass to your team member, even if you don't like her. Thus, PE teachers, coaches, facilitators need to think of how do we design for collaboration and teamwork? Some of the strategies that one can use are In the warm-up, can we look at people doing team activities, relays, challenges where they have to work together as a team? In team sports like football, netball, hockey, there are specific positions that players can take. As a facilitator, can we encourage the participants to rotate and take different positions? Center, goal attack. In this way, they are able to recognize where their strengths lie. They are also able to recognize what it would take to play the different positions. But also realize what strengths they bring to the team. S4D is all about acquiring skills and experiential learning through actively engaging in sports activities. People take part in sports to learn new skills and gain knowledge. S4D uses sports for more than just fun and exercise. It employs sports to make people stronger, help them grow and create positive changes in society.